actually in Italy first, but we were thinking of staying a little bit longer in Europe. We want to drive to the neighboring countries. Yeah, we picked Slovenia because it was off the beaten path and we wanted to explore somewhere different. We have just arrived at our location. It's a quaint little house. Actually, it's pretty big, two-story, but what's more amazing is this view behind me, that ma oh, yeah. magnificent view, especially right outside our front door. It's the first thing we see in these tall, beautiful mountains and snow-capped summits. So we heard some waterfalls and we heard some rivers, and we just drove off some dirt road and parked, and we found this amazing wooden bridge. And what we're going to do is just walk across, explore the area, and uh, maybe take a little dip down this river here. You can see just how amazingly clear the water is. Now I bet it's gonna be cold because it's melted snow all the way from the top of those mountains there. Do you remember you actually almost fell or you almost. did? Well, okay. I mean, I was fast enough to catch myself. Otherwise, I would have face planted right into that, <laughs> that cold water. <laughs> <laughs> because he wanted to drink the water. Well, how could you not? Because that water was so clear and it looked so refreshing. Oh my god, it's so refreshing. It's worth the wet shoes and even eventual diarrhea if it gets. And luckily, I didn't get diarrhea. At least not from the creek. <laughs> Over here, I spotted something really nice. So we're walking along enjoying the wildflowers upon this cherry tree. Nice and ripe cherries for you guys. Super sweet. Tastes organic too. One of the things that I like is gardening and our host, he had such a beautiful garden. You fell in love with that garden. I did. I was running around snapping pictures and it was so amazing because the flowers were beautiful, the bees were out. Yeah. He uh, was just out every day like, oh, this flower should be blooming tomorrow, you know? He was just so excited. I actually wanted to stay there and help do some gardening. <laughs> Having breakfast in that garden was almost like fairy tale. It was a great location. It was quiet, you can just hear the crickets in the back. We just have the sheep cheese, honey, but you know the sheep cheese is organic, homemade, and the, the honey is just made by our whole neighbor. We weren't in a rush, you know, we took our time, we sat there, we enjoyed the flowers, we enjoyed the fresh air, and just ate slowly. I think yeah. it took us like an hour to finish yeah, our breakfast, exactly. which is something that we normally don't do. We both enjoy outdoor activities, so it was a natural choice to go river rafting. Going down rafting, just gearing up, getting all protected because that water is freezing cold. <laughs> this is actually quite heavy, that whole gear. The night before, it was raining, so the water was a lot higher than normal. It was so fast too. It was so much more fun, to be honest. Oh yeah, the rapids were huge. Throughout this trip, we've met some great people. Oh, thank wow. you. It smells like mold. Yeah. She was gracious enough to let us into her, her storage where she makes right. the cheese. Oh, it smells, I have to tell you. <laughs> wow. But this is normal that it's like this, you know. Okay. This, we must uh, clean it this yeah. with water and brush. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And uh, we must, uh, um, each today we must like... Uh, oh, just flip it over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I see. Our host, Andre, his sister, is an artist, a mosaic artist. So you're working on replicating this, this yeah, mountain just here? The... She was actually replicating a mountain, and you could actually see how much work that needs. How long did it take you to do this so far? Well, for 14 days. 14 days? That's a long time. <laughs> Every time that we went out and came back home, she is working diligently at her workshop. Oh, you have a little chisel. Wow. Oh, wow.
I actually felt a little sad that we have to leave mm. because you know it was such a great place such a great location and I feel like there's so much to do so much to explore uh, we've barely scratched the surface to be honest and so we're hoping that we can go back to Bovec in the winter to do skiing snowboarding in the next episode we're gonna see what a big city like Ljubljana is compared to a small town that we're just in. So stay tuned.